William Edward Binney is a former highly placed intelligence official with the United States National Security Agency NSA turned whistleblower who retired on October 31, 2001, after more than 30 years with the agency. He was a high-profile critic of his former employers during the George W. Bush administration, and later criticized the NSA's data collection policies during the Barack Obama administration. In 2016, Binney said the U.S. intelligence community's assessment that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election was false, but on close examination of the documents that purported to prove a British origin of the hacking, could not prove the data was downloaded from the Democratic National Committee. Biography. <inaudible> 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 Binney grew up in rural Pennsylvania and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in mathematics from the Pennsylvania State University in 1970. He said that he volunteered for the Army during the Vietnam era in order to select work that would interest him rather than be drafted and have no input. He was found to have strong aptitudes for mathematics, analysis, and code breaking, and served from 1965 to 1969 in the Army Security Agency before going to the NSA in 1970. Binney was a Russia specialist and worked in the operations side of intelligence, starting as an analyst and ending as a technical director prior to becoming a geopolitical world technical director. In the 1990s, he co-founded a unit on automating signals intelligence with NSA research chief Dr. John Taggart. Binney's NSA career culminated as technical leader for intelligence in 2001. He has expertise in intelligence analysis, traffic analysis, systems analysis, knowledge management, and mathematics, including set theory, number theory, and probability. After retiring from the NSA, he founded, together with fellow NSA whistleblower J. Kirk Weeb, Entity Mapping, LLC, a private intelligence agency to market their analysis program to government agencies. Kirk Weeb and William Binney have started a company Pretty Good Knowledge with partners in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, to resurrect and do the kinds of smart things we thought we do with data back in the 1990s, because this government and the deep state as well as the shadow government didn't want us doing that here. So we're over there doing this. Whistleblowing In September 2002, he, along with J. Kirk Weeb and Edward Loomis, asked the U.S. Defense Department Inspector General to investigate the NSA for allegedly wasting millions and millions of dollars. On Trailblazer, a system intended to analyze mass collection of data carried on communications networks such as the Internet. Binney had been one of the inventors of an alternative system, ThinThread, which was shelved when Trailblazer was chosen instead. Binney has also been publicly critical of the NSA for spying on U.S. citizens, saying of its expanded surveillance after the September 11, 2001 attacks that, "...it's better than anything that the KGB, the Stasi, or the Gestapo and SS ever had." as well as noting Trailblazer's ineffectiveness and unjustified high cost compared to the far less intrusive ThinThread. He was furious that the NSA hadn't uncovered the 9-11 plot and stated that intercepts it had collected but not analyzed likely would have garnered timely attention with his leaner more focused system. After the NSA 
After he left the NSA in 2001, Binney was one of several people investigated as part of an inquiry into a 2005 The New York Times expose on the agency's warrantless eavesdropping program. Binney was cleared of wrongdoing after three interviews with FBI agents beginning in March 2007, but in early July 2007, in an unannounced, armed, early morning raid, a dozen agents armed with rifles appeared at his house, one of whom entered the bathroom and pointed his gun at Binney, who was taking a shower. The FBI confiscated a desktop computer, disks, and personal and business records. The NSA revoked his security clearance, forcing him to close a business he ran with former colleagues at a loss of a reported $300,000 in annual income. The FBI raided the homes of Weeb and Loomis, as well as House Intelligence Committee staffer Diane Roark, the same morning. Several months later the FBI raided the home of then still active NSA executive Thomas Andrews Drake who had also contacted Dodd IG, but anonymously with confidentiality assured. The Assistant Inspector General, John Crane, in charge of the whistleblower program, suspecting his superiors provided confidential information to the United States Department of Justice DOJ, challenged them, was eventually forced from his position, and subsequently himself became a public whistleblower. The punitive treatment of Binney, Drake, and the other whistleblowers also led Edward Snowden to go public with his revelations rather than report through the internal whistleblower program. In 2012, Binney and his co-plaintiffs went to federal court to retrieve the confiscated items. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Allegations on intercepts. Binney is known for making the claim that the NSA collects and stores information about every U.S. communication. Binney was invited as a witness by the NSA Commission of the German Bundestag. On July 3, 2014 Der Spiegel wrote, he said that the NSA wanted to have information about everything. In Binney's view this is a totalitarian approach, which had previously been seen only in dictatorships. Binney stated that the goal was to control people. Meanwhile, he said that it is possible in principle to monitor the whole population, abroad and in the U.S., which in his view contradicts the United States Constitution. In August 2014, Binney was among the signatories of an open letter by the group Veteran Intelligence Professionals for Sanity to German Chancellor Angela Merkel, in which they urged the Chancellor to be suspicious of U.S. intelligence regarding the alleged invasion of Russia in East. Eastern Ukraine. In the open letter, the group said, Accusations of a major Russian invasion of Ukraine appear not to be supported by reliable intelligence. Rather, the intelligence seems to be of the same dubious, politically fixed kind used 12 years ago to justify. The U.S. led attack on Iraq. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Russian interference in the 2016 election. Binney claims the U.S. intelligence community's assessment that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election is false, and that the Democratic National Committee emails were leaked by an insider instead. He has appeared on Fox News at least ten times between September 2016 and November 2017 to promote this theory. Binney said that the intelligence community wasn't being honest here." He has also been frequently cited on Breitbart News. In November 2017 it was reported that a month earlier, Binney had met with CIA Director Mike Pompeo at the behest of President Trump. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Role in apparent release of the Nunes memo. On January 23, 2018, Binney made an appearance on the InfoWars news program in connection with the Nunes Memo, a congressional document alleging irregularities in the application of the FISA Act, which at that time was not publicly available although its potential release was a topic of public debate. During the show, host Alex Jones announced that Binney had been able to provide him with the actual memo, and the purported leaked document was shown on air. However, this was in fact a public document that had been available on the website of the Office of the Director of National Intelligence since at least May 2017. The actual Nunes memo was released February 2, 2018. Topic. Documentary film Binney's story is recounted in A Good American, a documentary film. <laughs> See also